A hot dog girl is. But I'm Damn. saying, yeah, she is hot. Oh. Pakistani, perhaps? Maybe, something like that. Guess the Very race. Very exotic. <laughs> Can we pitch a show? Let's just make a show where Guess we. Guess the race? No, where we videotape ourselves pitching Guess the Race to networks. Only yes. to NBC, CBS, ABC. It's a three episode show. <laughs> and it's just <laughs> we, us you gotta trying be- <laughs> to convince a straight down the middle of a network that we could do. Let's guess that race. We go based solely on one thing looks, walk, and food, and, and the way they eat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love that idea. Welcome to Ari Shavir's Skeptic Podcast. I'm Ari Shavir. This is attempt number four. If I had two cameras, I could just edit. I could be like, hey, use that first part, change the second part. But I don't have two cameras. I actually do have two cameras. And I have an editor that I pay a lot of money to. Money I can't fully afford. I spent half my fucking money on the special. I'm still paying an editor. And I only set up one fucking camera. At some point, Ari, you, you got to say maybe it's you. Maybe it's you are the reason you're right in the middle instead of on top or below. Your, your, your talent's gotten you here to the middle. A little bit of work ethic will get you to the top. A little bit of fucking less uh, coattail riding will get you to the bottom. So actually, I'm pretty fine where I am. And where I am right now is introducing this episode of Ari Shavir's Skeptic Podcast with our old friend Big J Okerson. It's a weird episode, you guys. It's a very weird episode. Me and Big J are going to be in Las Vegas, Nevada. On September 21st, doing a co-headlining show at Wise Guys Comedy Club. Two shows, one night only. Get tickets now at AriShafir.com. Uh, I've also got Philadelphia, Portland, Dallas on the schedule uh, for October, November, December. Um, the reason I'm going to Las Vegas with Big J is because we're scouting the location for his next special that I am helping put together. Uh, finally getting the chance to help a guy uh, make a special, and I couldn't have found a better person to do it with than my friend and one of the best comics in the world, Big J Okerson. We'll be in Las Vegas. And he's on the episode of Ari Shavir's Skeptic Tank this, this week. Today, it'll be out. Oh, this is it right now. Let me tell you what I did. What a fucking fun trip. I went to Montana uh, just tubing, you guys. Oh, my God, what fun it is. Have you ever been? Oh, my God, it's fucking fun. I- I'm getting to the reason why I'm doing this. Because uh, I, don't, I got all over the place. What? Late 2019, I decided I'm going to put this podcast on YouTube. I'm finally going to enter it. Bert Kreischer uh, told me, he's like, Ari, if you go on YouTube, this fucking podcast is going to latch. Barely anybody's on YouTube. And then I decided to do it. And right when I was setting it up, I, I rented a studio that I couldn't afford, uh, an apartment, a second apartment in New York. And I built all these areas. I could do different things. Uh, yoga with Ari, where I became one, uh, the leading yogi on the internet. Uh, a round table that I used uh, three times. Uh, a couch area that I used many, many times for Ari Shavir Skeptic. And fire escape that I used for a series that I call the escape tapes. I did two of them with Big J Okerson and Robert Kelly. And the reason I chose those two guys, obviously you might've guessed it, is to test the strength of the fire escape. I started with Big J, that worked out fine. And then I moved to Bobby Kelly and that worked out to both of our surprises fine as well. The fire escape held and the new series was born. And then a fucking bat, Fucked a goddamn, uh, I don't know, Indian guy in Tibet. And uh, and then they, they they gave birth to a fucking uh, mongoose or something. That mongoose was became a scientist who worked for Fauci. And during his uh, experiments on beagles, a new virus was born. And that shut everything down. And every single comedian finally stepped up and decided, ah, oh, it's time I do a fucking video podcast. So where before I was going to succeed, instead, I continued to tread water. But that fucking failure is your success, because that's today's episode. And the reason I'm doing it today, after two fucking years, is because I went to fucking Montana. I went to the nature of Montana, where you can see endless, the skies are there, that you can tell why it's called Big Sky. You can tell the fucking mountains are behind you, just nature galore. Grizz country, everybody, grizz country. I went tubing, there's nothing better. 
There's nothing better than tubing that's sitting with your fucking butt in the water, cold water on a hot day with a fucking refreshment in your hand. A Montucky, a cold snack on a hot day. What could be better? Not much. Not much at all. I'm going to talk more about this on my Patreon, patreon.com slash Ari Shafir. But um, until then, it'll be out today. It's been too too long since I've done one. It'll be out. It's already out. It's out. Congrats. It's out. Go to uh, patreon.com slash Ari Shafir. Um, but anyway, um, it was a blast. And I came right from there. I came from um, from uh, Austin, Texas. What a fucking trip to Austin, Texas. Me and Tom discussed sober October and what the challenge should be. And we've narrowed it down to instead of a contest, because Joe didn't want to fucking have a contest because he's too obsessive, which I get, but I don't want to do sobriety, and I'm doing that. <sighs> but we both decided if we don't do Sober October, Burt Kreischer is going to die, and we like him. All jokes aside, we do like Burt Kreischer, and he will be dead of alcohol poisoning, of long-term alcohol poisoning. Something must be done. He's fatter than ever. And so we're all going to sacrifice, me and Joe and Tom, we're going to sacrifice ourselves in our fun month of October so we can help our friend Bert in his path to continue succeeding and living his life and maybe, maybe see 60 years old. I don't see it happening and I've made many wagers against it, but I'm still rooting for me to lose those wagers because we want Bert around. He's one of comedy's most precious children. The fact that he could get this far in comedy without being able to read is a testimony to how wild and fun this industry is. So we discussed it. We decided some sort of workout challenge, but sobriety is good too. Oh, and what better time for sobriety than right now? Because damn, dude, damn, dude, that protect our parks was fucking wild. I've never seen Joe Rogan that drunk. I've known that guy for 20 plus years. I've never seen him that drunk and I've drunk with him before. We've gone hard together on lots of drugs. Never have I seen the guy barf. Never. Because what? You, it's just like, why would you take on Shane Gillis? He literally drank me under the table. And then you're going fucking funnel for funnel with him? Drunk, dude. And then you, He made the mistake I made. You smoked weed while you're drinking that hard. Well, that cooler's fucking seeing its fucking run. Second time somebody's barfed into it. <laughs> I don't know how he's sober on Kill Tony. Dude, that Austin trip is great. Any comic, if, if Rogan gets you out to Austin, what a fucking fun trip. First of all, flies you out. Nobody does this. He flies you out. You can do Kill Tony the night before or the night of on Monday. Fun, fun podcast. You can be as drunk as you want or not. And then you do his podcast, which, by the way, has become quite big since having me on. Uh, Skeptic saying buff. Congrats, Joe Rogan. Uh, 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 and then and then what do you do? Oh, you drink. He gives you a fucking fine tabernacle cigar while you do it. Some fucking fake weed from Texas because weed's not legal there. Uh, but yeah, keep, keep telling everybody to move there, even though fucking weed's not legal there. It's fucking the most basic human right you can find, just just below water. Um, but anyway, and then and then you do his comedy show. He gives you a fucking thousand dollars. He gives you a thousand dollars to do a fucking workout spot at a fucking bar room. It's wild. What a fun time. Everybody should be this generous. Every, nobody can. Nobody can. What's the difference? Oh, they don't have a fucking hundred million dollars in the bank. Ow. Anyway, it was a great time. And then I went to Montana. And I had a fucking blast there. What have I forgotten to tell you guys? Oh, the fucking Yankees. I'll get into it later. If they don't fucking win the goddamn division, I don't know what is. Guys, uh, so uh, fucking Shroom Fest is coming this weekend. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. We're going to have next week off, off for the podcast because we're going to be celebrating hard. We're not going to record one. Saturday, Sunday, and or Monday, wherever you are, take mushrooms. Find them whenever you can find them. Get your fucking boomers. Who fucking made this? This is great. Somebody made me a fucking, it looks like a Ziploc bag for mushrooms. Um, I, I mean, it's it's not it's not Judge's fault. He's the bright spot. But how do you have the best start in team history and then maybe not even make the fucking playoffs? Maybe not win the division. They'll make the playoffs. But if you don't win the division, dude, you're, you're a wild card. That's fucking nuts. Sober October. I met Danny Brown for the first time. He did my new podcast called You Be Trippin'. It's available on Spotify right now. Go subscribe. You be tripping. It's available on Spotify right now. It'll be available on Apple Podcasts probably next week if it's not already there. Um, you be tripping. Guys, I've already recorded eight episodes. I love it. I love it. Kill Tony I did. The fucking most important live show in three continents. We don't count Africa because I, their live shows don't get put up on YouTube. They have a special YouTube. 
Went to a fucking live music show. Man, it was fucking great. Let me do my dates really quickly. Philadelphia, October, let's say 20th through 22nd at Helium Comedy Club. All tickets are available at rishafir.com. Portland at Helium Comedy Club, November 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Dallas, oh, that's with Adrian Apolucci. Dallas at Hyenas Comedy Club, December 1st through the 3rd. That's with Reggie Conquest. Still got to get somebody for fucking Philadelphia. I'm looking for somebody. For, I would like to take the fucking Are You Garbage guys, but they've gotten too big. Otherwise, I'd take them. I'd like to take somebody from Philly. I mean, their flight by a few minutes. This will all be on fucking Patreon. All this shit will be on Patreon. Can anyone actually tell me if I was... No, that's a fucking bit idea. Smells... Dude, that tubing was so fucking fun. I just sat there and I drank those fucking Montuckies. Wore my Pit Viper glasses. The coolest sunglasses on planet Earth. That's right. Pit Vipers. You either get them from, I don't know, the Pit Viper store. Or get them knockoffs at a fucking thrift stop. That's what I did. I got a fucking knockoff pair at the fucking sick, uh, 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 what's it called? Vintage place on 12th and B. I think East Village Vintage. I think that's what it's called. Oh, it's so good. And they had these fucking, and then the Pit Viper's like, dude, you're wearing knockoffs of our glasses. Like, I don't care. And they're like, let us send you some. So they did pass them out at Mark Norman's bachelorette party. We had a great time. So Pit Vipers, guys, I'm telling you, either way, knockoffs are the real thing. Pit Vipers is the way to go. Not a paid sponsorship. Yeah, see? I'll give it up for fucking products I believe in. Um, pit Vipers, a fucking bucket hat, and a tube in Montana. What what else could you want? God damn, it was fun. So, I went from Montana straight back to New York City. That's my phone. That's going to be quite annoying. Sorry about that if you can hear that. Uh, it's going to ring like seven or eight times. Um, I went from Montana with the wide open nature and the fucking mountains behind you and everything like that uh, straight into New York. So I have like, what better time to show the nature of New York, the fire escape, the only place where you can see stuff. So me and Big J, we sat there September 21st. We'll be in Las Vegas, Nevada. Wise guys, tickets are at ariashapir.com. Tickets for all show at ariashapir.com. Um, oh, Two Comics, Two Cigars is out. We got a second one coming out on Friday with Joe List. We're smoking Cohibas. So from now on, on the each episode, I'll tell you what we're smoking on the next episode. But the first one with me and Bobby Kelly went great. Me and Joe List are on the next one. Two Cohibas. So get yourself a Cohiba. These are from Cuba. Uh, let me see if I even can find them. I can. Let me see. Esplendidos. Esplendidos. Cohiba Esplendidos. That's what me and Joe List are smoking in honor of Habanos Eche in Cuba. You should not be holding this way, but that's what we're smoking. Cohiba Esplendidos. Habana Cuba. Interesting. Huh? Cohiba Esplendidos, yeah. So I'm going to uh, list what, what you got to get for the next episode. So this one is me and Joe List uh, on Friday. Um, enjoy your weekend with us. Smoke a cigar with us. That's uh, youtube.com slash two comics, two cigars. Anyway, let's start this episode. Me and Big J sat in a fire escape. We shot this shit and we watched the sunset go. We watched the sunset happen all around us. Cool if you're watching on video. If you're listening on uh, uh, Spotify, don't forget to subscribe to, to, uh, to uh, you be tripping. Uh, or Apple Podcasts, then you'll fucking enjoy it too. We sat, we shot the shit, we looked at people passing by, and we fucking made fun of them and we enjoyed ourselves. It was a good decision for, um, for a series called Escape Tapes and it never happened. But maybe I'll get back to it. If you liked it, maybe I'll get back to it. Don't forget, reach out to Big J Okerson. Tell him you enjoyed the episode. Reach out to Tom Segura, Joe Rogan, and Burt Kreishnop. Uh, let them know that they're going to lose Sober October. But we still got to do it because we all want Burt Kreischer around. The greatest illiterate comedian in the history of, well, the last 10 years. Um, that's it, you guys. Let's start the episode. Ari Shafir Skepitsank, episode 484. I, man, I think I said everything that I have to. How long is that? 13. Shit. How did I go so long? That's crazy. I, I mean, these intros, I, I guess they're fun. Let me just see real quick if I said everything. Vegas with J, September 21st. You be tripping. It's up on uh, fucking what's it called right now. It'll be on YouTube.com slash Ari Shafir with the video episodes. Uh, I'm so fucking excited about this one. You guys, it's going to be fucking great. Uh, oh, all the fucking shit from the tubing that I got to say in the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Ari Shafir. Fire escapes and nature. 
Dude, it is interesting when you go from like the nature of Montana straight into New York City or the beautiful city of Paris straight into New York City. You really, this city is fucking overwhelming. Protect our parks. I talked about that. Grizz game. I'll save that for the fucking Amazon Vagabond. Okay. I didn't buy that from your friend. You'd be tripping. Just went up. Sober October. Meeting Danny Brown. Kill Tony. The greatest fucking podcast on three continents. Live music scene in Austin. Fucking. Anyway. I'm having a good time, you guys. I'm enjoying my life. Enjoy the rest of your summer. And get ready for Sober October and all the other things. Let's start. Ari Shavir Skeptic, episode 484. Escape Tapes with Big J Okerson, live from a fire escape in New York City. You should go to the YouTube on this one. I, it'll be interesting to you if you watch the YouTube on this one. With Big J Okerson, as again, reach out to him and tell him you enjoyed the episode. Like all my guests, fucking reach out, let him know you fucking had a good time, and thank him for doing it, and he'll be more likely to come back on this podcast over and over and over and over again. Follow Big J Okerson, uh, I don't know, Big J Comedy or Big J Okerson on Instagram, one of those two. Um, and that's it guys there's a link at the bottom wherever you're listening or watching there's a link at the bottom for Big J stuff go ahead and reach out to him and tell him you had a good time um, I can't wait to fucking make his special god damn it I'm excited about that my special will be out in October um, alright let's start the episode 484 escape tapes starts now don't know for the record I don't know if this will work or not with the video but we're trying our best we got some surround here you go, cool wars light. A cold cores on the mountain. Because too? Bud Light doesn't pay me, so I'm gonna drink. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna drink. have a nice cool cores. Cool cores. Cool cool <laughs> I'm gonna bed my wife. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And drink a nice cool cool. <laughs> yeah, it was such a slap in the face of Dana White, but Dana was like, oh, it's, "It's fine, man. You can insult Bud Light. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Not really. They don't pay me." Yeah. So this is the first episode of this, Jay. Ooh. You can help me kind of format it a little bit. Okay. But I'm really thinking this is just for talking and making fun of people that we see on the street. Sure. You know? I love that. And also, you can look in windows, like our favorite pastime. Yeah, I mean, if we ever caught somebody fucking, would be the key. It's a lot. Also, you may have to do them a little more. The problem with the video is going to be the time you're going to see that's night. Yeah. So, I mean, we can do this at night, too. But I'm not going to be showing anything. Right. In those places. No, of course not. No, no that's... Then, then now we're talking illegal. Illegal, yeah. So maybe, we're just going to be talking maybe about... Maybe looking is illegal for all <laughs> I know. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I don't know what the rules are. Is that are. what peeping Tom <laughs> means? No, I always thought, In that. my mind, peeping Tom was like, if I climb that tree to look in that window. I think if I look up at a window... Yeah. And uh, someone's fucking scrubbing their bean bag or... Yeah, that's what you do with bean bags. Trimming their puss. Yeah. But, uh, I, I think it's it's fair game to look. I, I wouldn't do if I was doing those things myself in front of a window. Yeah. I, I, it's because I want people to see. Dude, I was thinking about it and I was like, never uh, fucked in front of an open window where I wasn't like, and let them see. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was thinking I mean? about, you know, when you pass by a place like that where you're like, the, the, the apartment is on the street, you know? Yeah, it's the like, garden apartment uh, is a different, uh, it's a bit of, that's where the issue becomes dicey because a garden apartment, you're a bit of a victim of circumstance. Well, it's like, how, uh, my question was, if you saw somebody fucking as you're passing by, could you, you don't know what's coming, could you stop yourself from looking? No. You couldn't? No. Me neither. It, it would be like, no, no, no. I'd have to look. Even yeah. if you're like, oh, they're even a part of you was like, don't. You would and if still they looked look. up, but I said, I don't have the reckless abandon of like, if they looked up and were like, hey, what the fuck? Did I be like, whatever, dude. I would definitely yeah. have like, oh, God, sorry. God, God. Sorry, 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 sorry. Damn, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have looked in there. <laughs> For sure. I would have, that's the reaction I would have. Of yeah. like, uh, I was like, oh, I should have been looking at you doing this. Uh, okay, okay. You know I mean? uh, looking back, this is my fault, not yours. I do, I'm trying to wonder if I, if somebody called me over, it's, it's all, and it is fighting your instincts for sure. If somebody called you over, right, yeah. and they were like, "Dude, check this out," drop the little mini camera in a whatever a Crunch Fitness bathroom, female uh, locker room. Yeah, okay. And I just I'm, got I'm a closed. Ca- I, I think just got I know a, where you're going. I have with a closed this. circuit TV in my house. Like, come over and watch. I, I, I would I would have to I think I wouldn't do it but it would be the fight within myself to go it's like dude it's not yeah cool I couldn't do that with the fappening I couldn't no, yeah I think some I people, would do it but I think said, I, I might say hey dude you can't do that anymore you gotta you gotta stop yeah you know what I mean that's the most I could see myself yeah the fappening had that thing where it was like when people pointed that out I, I did feel a little like ah that is fucked up I guess 
that it's like this stuff was hacked and stolen and put out there. Yeah. How are you? You're not really right to, you're not right to look at it. Yeah. Um, Take a look at that guy. That's a census dude. Oh my God. That's who knocked on my door. They're going around heavy right now. Yeah. He was trying to, uh, what do they do? Are they counting black people? I guess so. They're trying to like put them in like camps or categories or something. They keep making a big thing about black people doing the census. Because they refuse? I don't know. I don't know what the reason. I just whenever I see a thing about the census only, yeah. it's usually that people are annoyed and don't like the census guy. Right. Just generally. From growing up, <laughs> I, I remember black that. Black people probably relate it to like Jehovah's Witnesses. Maybe. But like particularly now, anything I anytime I see the word census come up, yeah. it seems to be like black people make sure like that you, you do get that you the do census. It? Yeah. But again, I thought it's just a, it's just a people counting, right? I think black people thought the census was kind of like um, the power that in like remember um, the Overlook Hotel, sure, The Shining. Yeah, <laughs> he's, yeah, like, yeah. he's got the census. <laughs> Boy, got the census. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. But do you know what I mean though? Whereas I think there's like a thing with the. I think mm-hmm. it's like it, it's now like maybe black people didn't want to be counted first, and I don't mean that in the sense of like counted as individuals. I, I mean like, what do you need to know? Hey, look, it, I've known. Black people. I've known black people. Sure, I know plenty of black people. No, I've also known. Uh, I should say more. Uh, a million white people who don't do. It's a million's a bit of a stretch, but I know okay. many white people who don't want to do TSA. I'm on. You are one of them. Is it all for the same reason? They're like, I'm not giving them my fingerprints and whatever like that. And it's just like they got your fingerprint. Oh. I, I am willing to submit to a bit of like the obvious. Like, what are you gonna do, dude? Do you know what I mean? Like, I kind of stopped camping. I more now, I just have like the, oh, wow, look at that. I mentioned building a jungle gym out back of my house. And now there's commercials for jungle gyms all over my uh, all over my Facebook. I'm like, yeah. I don't know. OK, <laughs> like the worst one of those was um, was uh, we were bleaching each other's assholes on, on <laughs> Punch Drunk. Mm-hmm. Um, and all these commercials for uh, bleach detergents started coming up. I'm like, one, you missed the, the point, and two, you're definitely spying on us because yeah. none of us have ever expressed interest in you just got the word laundry. Uh huh. And went from there. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, those annoy me, but also like, it's not so much for the ads that are like guided towards me. It's more for, oh, where'd you get that sweet carrying case for joints? I think it was from you. It's my, my good friend Ari Shafir. It, if this isn't one you given me. It's definitely one you suggested. I get. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. But it yeah. might be at some point, you just every time I go to LA, like pipe shop, I'm just like, do you have any solo packs? Tight packs? What is it called? Tight pack. This one is called tight pack. Tight pack. It's the best. Smell proof. Um, yeah, I think the ads aren't the problem. I think it's like, I don't know what else they're going to do with it. And for sure, somebody will use it for like, not what I want them to. Evil? Yeah, evil. Or like, I, I don't know. I, I just don't know. I'm just I like, keep trying to believe there's not that kind of evil like in the powers of For big. money? No, if sure. somebody can make money off 100%. it by like no, no, I, I understand that I know that yeah. but I'm just saying like you know even when you hear those things where it's like well they made money because they exterminated their own people and do whatever like no yeah. that happens and they keep making new episodes of Fuller House <laughs> like, <laughs> I have a that's my uh, juvenile feel on those things yeah always that kind of thing you know when they're like it's like yeah there's this terrible heinous in the world it goes oh come on but John Stamos is back and <laughs> on TV's Fuller House. <laughs> Some things are great. Yeah. But I always say, that, and I know everyone goes, it's the distraction and maybe, but like the idea of that, like the world's falling apart. Like, is the new NBA 2K coming out? Like, it is. Like, on schedule? Okay. Well, I mean, well then, we're good. I mean, like, is that happening and also terrible evil? <laughs> I know it's naive and, and ridiculous, but do you know what I mean? It's like, it's, yeah, it's, I get it's, it. it I, I'll, I'll go, I'll be up all night every night. Well, that's the thing, too. If, it's if, like, if how it much... Way. What can I do to make it better for you, buddy? No, it's good. I'm trying to... Listen, I'm going to have to... I know what you can do. Stay right there for a second. Mm-hmm. While I go look at these, and hopefully don't get caught peeping. Raise your hand up. Okay. I got it. I know where I am. Shit. What? Now yeah. my phone's ringing. Ah, uh, fuck that. Unless it's Joe DeRosa. Who the hell could this be? No, we would have seen Joe DeRosa. Yeah, we will see him on the ground. Yeah, I get what you're saying with that with that stuff. Just tell your podcast. I'll call you right back. Yeah, Yeah, there you go. I I get what you're saying with that. Also, like some part of me just wants to be like, I don't care, man. I'm not going to make a difference. So my anger is not going to serve me in any way. Right, right. You know? Podcasting with Ari. Yeah. 
call you back. Oh, yeah, you can see for sure in that one, they got a fireplace. That's nice. Oh, it's great. Maybe decorative. You can really but see some shit. Yeah, I mean, you can see in some police polls, but it, we sh I know I should not be looking because whenever I see people across, like over there, like on their balcony, like yeah. um, smoking, I'm always like, don't look at me. Oh, really? <laughs> but I mean, then uh, Christine is, I mean, she puts, she's either hyper aware and hiding from our open windows yeah after a shower or whatever or yeah. just not thinking at all where i'm like hey you got to pick what your feelings are on this you're either giving these guys a gas show or One you're or fucking or you're up or you don't want them to see you you know what i mean it's yeah. like a, i have a hard time with it being like both things on different times well, it's neighbors right what's well, it's construction guys technically on that oh i mean let them have a fucking thrill hey everybody it's Ari Shafir, and it's a sponsor moment. And I got a new sponsor, and it's a fucking pipe. Uh, I just figured I'm just going to read this to you while I uh, use their thing. Smoking cannabis doesn't have to hurt. For the coldest and smoothest cannabis smoking experience, you need a freezable pipe, bubbler, bong, or dab rig from Freeze Pipe. That's the name of the sponsor, Freeze Pipe. So what I did is I got my own um, grinder. I used to sell these on the road, the Ari Shafir grinder. Still works fucking 10 years later. Um keep reading this the secret is freezable glycerin chambers that come on every piece oh yeah in there wow look how frozen it is uh pop one of these chambers in the freezer for one hour that's what i did that's what i did for one hour and as smoke passes through it's instantly chilled by over 300 degrees i bet that's fahrenheit wow it is cold it is cold. Oh, it's cold. The result is bigger, smoother hit with zero chest or throat burn. I'll be the judge of that. Freeze pipe. Cough less and enjoy an easier way to smoke cannabis with these unique and well-crafted glass pieces. Did I do it right? Damn, that is smooth. Damn, that is cold. Glycerin is non-toxic fatty gel commonly found in food and sweeteners. Oh, okay, that's important. It freezes quicker than water and stays frozen longer. You may have tried putting ice in your bong before. I have. Damn, that is smooth. But having smoke pass through frozen glycerin chambers will change how you light up forever. Shop pipes, buzzler, uh, bubblers, Bongs, dab rigs, and more at freezepipe.com. Use promo code Ari for ten percent off. That's the freezepipe.com. Wait, is it the freezepipe or freezepipe.com? That's the. It says the freezepipe. Freezepipe.com. Show me at the freezepipe.com. Use promo code Ari for ten percent off. That's the freezepipe.com, and code Ari for ten percent off your entire order. Damn, dude. For real, that's a good smoke. Oh. Clouds. Spots to buy. TheFreezePipe.com. Now back to the episode. Damn, good pipe. At minimum, if they don't renew, I got a free fucking sick pipe out of it. Nice. This shit's working out, stand up, you know? You get a free fucking pipe, free bong. Everybody should have a bong. I got a free one out of this fucking industry. Pretty cool, man. All I do is tell fucking really out there, on the fence, offensive jokes, and then I get a free fucking bong in the mail, and it tell you about it, how fucking good it is. A bong I'm going to use fucking thefreezepipe.com, 10% off your order. Go back to the episode. I'll tell you what. I've tried. I've watched those videos a bunch. And obviously, I only wanted to do it if she's comfortable with it. But I've tried to get Christine so many times. To intentionally? To intentionally. Not, not to show the people outside the window, which same thing, basically. Yeah. But I've always thought it was great, those videos. Although, when it goes bad, you, you feel it's very how you see how dangerous it is, especially when they have nobody with them. The girls who, like, answer the door for the pizza guy, uh -huh. butt naked, and you see his fucking reaction. Of like, I'm, And I've said those things. I'm like, you don't understand. If you don't give a shit, you make this guy's whole week he's telling that story of that fucking girl answer with their pussy and yep, everything just absolutely out. i go it's such a cool fucking thing now 
She never done it, and every time I mention it, she's always like, "Shut up, no, stop." And I'm you're not like, gonna "I do don't it. care." I'm like, "As the man of the house, I'm telling you, I, I won't be mad." No, but whatever reason, like she's like shirt she, off she, at she, least. She's choking on doing it, and that's fine. Like I, you know, if she doesn't want to do yeah. it, I don't want her to do it. I want her to do it. She thinks it's like fucking kind of fun and and. And also, crazy. by the way, live vicariously. Like you and I can't do that. We can't have our dick out. With right, some, right. I mean, you know, it, it carries on these connotations of the fucking the meaning of that is like bad. But and she there's can. the hypocrisy we'll never get into in this in the conversation, <laughs> Ari. Double standard. Why can't I just answer? Not. If I answer my dick out, I've just done a major assault. I'm not trying to fuck you. <laughs> I'm just trying to make you feel weird. I'm just going like, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, that's the whole thing. It's like you're, and I feel comfortable saying 99. A firm 99. I'm saying there's point nine nine chance um, that they uh, that somebody would, a guy would possibly go, whoa, what the... What are you doing, lady? I'm a married guy, and I oh, blah blah blah. There's, yeah. there's, there, but but one percent chance. I think that one, yeah, the one percent. I think that one percent chance is even so far from like reality. Even if they were a Christian, they'd be like, "Excuse me," and they would just leave. And something in them, I feel at least, still right, is like you know, is still going like, "Oh, that was." I think a bigger. That was awesome. I think a bigger <laughs> problem would be. That Christine's flat chest might awaken um, thoughts of pedophilia in some of these people. <laughs> Look, she's she's more ass than tit. I'll, 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 I gotta, I that's, that's, that's the Middle Eastern thing. <laughs> <laughs> you think anyone with like Queen Sheba and like uh, we're like man, a little flat chested? <laughs> it's like it's the hottest girl in the world. I'm like ah, eh, for this part of the world, <laughs> it's we haven't been to Brazil taking yet. apart hot chicks, no matter what. Yeah, I love taking them down. That's my favorite. I go, I go. How do you deal with being a fat, ugly guy? On all the women in the world who you would have loved to show you some attention, but don't. Yeah. Is that just within the realm of what you do? I do it on a bonfire all the time. When they go, look at this smoking, smoking. Because Soder's big. Now, here's the thing. Yeah. Soder's a very good looking guy. Yeah. He gets. Uh, he gets it. You know, regular. Uh, just Dan's a guy that can pull chicks from like a bar, hot chicks from a Damn, bar. Damn, really? I think so. That's crazy. He would say, no, he can't. In, I mean, his just, defense, in his defense, he'd say, no, he has can't. Has he ever? A chick he I didn't know. know. He went to. He went out. It's a question for without him, knowing gotta, somebody, gotta, and went home with someone that night they'd never met before. I'll dig into that. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Because that means he can do it. Yes, for sure. But he's like. Uh, but whatever his thing is, even if like, with regularity, he will get a higher quality of like, the world would say, like, whoa, that's a gorgeous chick. Right. Not chicks that I think are. I think are really hot for whatever reason. I think that. Do you know what I mean? Just like mm -hmm. the, the general consensus hot chick. Yeah. An LA seven, he will get that from his comedy easier than I will. Depending, not even mattering. No, no, from his face. No, no, I'm saying doing the same thing. Yeah. Let's say we both equally do well. Okay. Uh, let's say I do. I, I have a show that's like a little stronger than his on that particular night, right? He still he'll probably get more than you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Agreed. So agreed. And it's not a. Uh, well, Christ is so funny in this it's world. Of brag, it's so right funny in this kind of comedy that, like, we have like the thing where it's like, I'm not shitting on him for being handsome. This is what it sounds like because <laughs> it is kind of this world. It's like you know, we 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 okay. rather we'd rather be the derelicts and the outliers. Yeah, the hot that girl is. But I'm saying, yeah, she is hot. Oh. Pakistani, perhaps? Maybe something like that. Guess the Very race. Very exotic. <laughs> Can we pitch a show? Let's just make a show where guess we guess the race. No, where we videotape ourselves pitching guess the race to networks. Only yes. to NBC, CBS, ABC. It's a three-episode show, and it's just <laughs> we, us you gotta trying be, to convince a straight down the middle of a network that we could do. Let's guess that race. We go based solely on one thing: looks, walk, and food, and, and the way they eat. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, not like their food choices. I mean, like the actual way they attack. Oh, food. Just, <laughs> just like, we're giving them all eggs. Just like, how will they eat it? How do you eat it? <laughs> Hungrily? Are you going to grab a fistful of eggs? Are you going to try to <laughs> slurp them off the plate? Are you going to do it like this? They... <laughs> yeah, are going to use a fork? Yeah. Are you going to try to use some sort of a wooden utensil? Uh, <laughs> I love that idea. Uh -huh. Just go meet with networks, and, and then they'll be like, oh, "I'm not sure." I'm like, mm, "You're not hearing me." There's guest star potential here. You go, all right. <laughs> the show is called "Guess the Race," and you're right away. They're gonna be like, "You're gonna go, no, 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 hear me out." No, it's not what so, you think. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't, don't, don't say anything. No, 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 no. <laughs> because you're gonna miss the best part. You're gonna hit the. You're gonna you're gonna miss the best part. <laughs> you guys are gonna harp on the name, and you're not gonna listen to the thing I'm saying. It's not. It's not what you're thinking. <laughs> We're gonna guess 
the race. <laughs> and like, you, you tell them exactly what they're thinking. And they're like, yeah, that's what we're thinking. Like, whoa. Go, so we're on the same board then. Oh, okay. Well, so good. So I guess you guys take some time, knock it around, and uh, give us a call when you're ready to do this thing. Listen, uh, uh, National Broadcasting Station uh, channel, uh, we're, we got other meetings. I'm just letting you know that right now. So if yeah. you're serious about this, we need a money number. Listen, you can make an offer in the room. Or you can trust that we're going to be be around tomorrow when you come calling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you can sleep on it and hope that we're around tomorrow when you wake up in the morning and realize you're about to walk away from the greatest thing. How safe are your family. jobs, dude? Two years from now, number one show in America, two years in a row. <laughs> I don't know. I, I might not keep you on if you know what I'm saying, but it's up to you. <laughs> what are we gonna, what's next? We talk about showrunners or <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Yeah. Okay. Obviously, you want to know where are we pitching this. Lighter. Are we pitching this East Coast or West Coast? And I'm saying both. We Man. can get a CBS pitch on East in New York and LA. I agree, but I want West Coast so bad. Oh yeah. I want those big open windows and those big tall buildings of a guy who's just wearing a, a one of those shirts, the button down shirt that has the different color on the sleeve what? and the arm. That's called something, I know. Different color on the sleeve and the arm. Not the sleeve and the arm, the, the collar and the and the wristband. And the wrist. Yeah, so it's like striped to here. But then it's white. Or blue and then white. Stark white. Yeah, what is that? Stark white collar. I want one of those guys where suspenders one of those guys, on. Yeah. Unnecessarily. He's not fat, doesn't need suspenders. He likes to look. Okay. It's not cutting through <laughs> I was his thinking tits. Suspenders. Yeah. It's not cutting through his tits. <laughs> it's not gonna like slowly edge to the yeah. front. He's not getting ready to stack mulch at Home Depot suspenders. <laughs> Afraid to reach forward because it'll just I'm push talking about together. suspenders with Paisley's on them. And yeah, and with that guy sitting down with his with his crossed fingers, with his interlaced fingers, like listening to our pitch with that mm-hmm face, yeah. and we just lay on guess the race. <laughs> 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 For a moment, he's going to go. It's so brazen that they must mean what? guess the race. Like, we'll name a winner of uh, Belmont Stakes. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. You yeah, guess yeah. which race that, or, or, no, or no, we'll tell you the name of a winning horse and you guess the race they won. Like, no, 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 it's not that. It's not that. We should even say in our pitch, like, now, guys, guess the race. Based solely off that name, what do you think we're bringing you here, honestly? Their first idea would be like, hey, listen, obviously you're talking about uh, like a race of, of speed or, or a horse race or like that. But I'm just going to tell you my first note before you even pitch it is this name might be misconstrued as you're guessing a, like a race of people. Noted. So you but, go noted. <laughs> no, let us finish. I'll, I'll, that, uh, the rest of my pitch will answer that question. Because if you could just if we could just save comments and questions for the end, Trust thank me, you. That's coming around. <laughs> <laughs> if we could just leave questions and comments till. till <laughs> just hold off till the end and then yeah you'll see you'll see it comes around nice um uh, god damn it that's so funny guess the race uh, uh <laughs> but anyway oh, with the thing with the with the which looking in people's like shit and everything but i mean yeah. i would never be accidentally seen jerking off through a window because i know me jerking off isn't the look i'd want to give so therefore oh, jerking off through the right. window no no no. It, or, no 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 i'm not saying Wait, like being look. i'm not saying being somebody looking in i'm saying like putting on the show for somebody else even fucking if i'm fucking and i had a, i was like whatever man open the window who cares i'm doing that solely because i'm going like well there maybe there's hot that somebody else is seeing this like hot chick really it would never be to be seeing me, dude. I would well, never no, have right, the window yeah. open for me on top. Does right, that make right, sense? Right, right, right. I was just like, I just know what Judging my weaknesses are. Yeah. <laughs> I know my awful weaknesses. on top moves. You can do it on the bottom as well as anyone can, which is just be on the bottom. Oh, I'm a, I'm a big guy, so I have big hands. Yeah, yeah. Uh, most women for, the, you know, women for the most part of my life, I've been able to kind of make look even smaller in the cradling of their bodies. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? But, but the uh, top game is really what your game is all about. And it's probably not great. I'll tell you what. I throw it best in top game for sure. Nice. That's where my best game is. Good endurance and everything for a person who gets out of breath quick and yeah. and can't run like a mile without poss stopping, I guess, in a mile five times. Yeah. What do you try to do? Base up with one hand while the other rests and then switch back and forth to keep from no, no, <laughs> burning muscles? I, I, I will get on top. I'm big on the... And I know I wouldn't start with this necessarily because I think it's too much. You're good, yeah. But the old-fashioned fold in half... Do you know what I mean? Where, where, a great where, where the ankles are on the shoulders. <laughs> yeah. That's where I can give it the most, and then hands down also, hands planted on either side, and give it the go. That's where I can get the most torque and distance <laughs> on my on my retractions, yeah. my pullbacks. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> um, however, my probably best, like, position to, to go where it's like, not that like the fold up always does seem to me too in some way you're like this is wrapping up <laughs> the fold up 
Do you know what I mean? The fold up seems like the end of the game, right? That's when you're going to give everything you have to everything she has. Because she's flat surface at that point. You yeah. get the fold up, it's pussy and air. What's she going to do? So I'm saying, like, you give everything you have, <laughs> and that's, right. and they, and, and that, that always feels like the, I want you to come, I'm going to come. Fuck. The yeah. fucking for, so I'm you were still putting on a show. Yeah. Uh, my best thing would be one leg up, the other leg either through my legs or, or just straight out on the bed. Yeah. And me, like, fuck, straight up fucking. Standing? Not standing, though, on my knees. Okay. On the bed. You would want people to see that? You would raise the window I, for that? I, that I, want people to see. I know that's when I'm throwing my right, best right. fucking that would be the most impressive described by the partner. But how do you like to fuck? I would say, quote the great Andrew Dice Clay, who says, face down, ass up. That's the way. You like to fuck? I like to fuck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got it. Um, can I tell you something? My yeah. least favorite position. Face That's down, always very weird. Not even face up. down ass up. Doggy in general. Oh, really? I'll do it. Yeah. But every time I do it, I'm doing it because that's what the girl wants to do. <laughs> I don't like it. I also Why? like stand what's, up. What's fucking. wrong about it? Is it's it an emotional not, thing? Nope. Where you don't feel as connected to them? It you is. You can't look not, deep in their eyes. I, well, listen, I am, I am visual, so I do like seeing the body more than I like seeing that. Now, I can look down and see the dick going in. That's fantastic. Yeah. It's my least. Uh, uh, it's my position that will give. At least visually, because yeah. once you push, you're getting all the dick you can get in, no matter what position you're in. Yeah. Once you push, once you like kind of hit body and then yeah. push beyond that, <laughs> yeah, that's you're giving him everything you're gonna yeah. get, everything, yeah. no matter what position you're <laughs> yeah. in. However, on a visual, it's all the room there is. On a visual yeah. note, me standing, yeah, feet planted on the ground, I could do. It. I like it better if I can get one foot up, but feet planted on the ground. Thighs together, balls mushed forward. You're getting the absolute visually smallest, shortest length of my dick, which is short. Short in that regard, it's going to look really short. It would okay. look like that's a problem. I'd have to standing up. If yeah. a girl saw me like that first, I would immediately goes, "Oh my god!" I would jump on the bed and spread my legs left and right and let my balls fall back, and then be like, "No, see, there was like there was like inches more of dick that was just mushed up by my gunt <laughs> and and whatever." So. However, the from behind. Yeah, it's your least favorite. Uh, why? It's my least why? Favorite. The it, smell. No, no, not at all. It reminds you of your mom. Love looking at butthole. It does. Yeah. It does take me back to my <laughs> days growing up. My yeah. mom. I won't say why, but just know she hurt me. <laughs> 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 no, it's uh, it's just looking down, even seeing my dick going in. I'm seeing how short my strokes are because I can't pull back that much because I'm not getting. I'm not giving full because my body gravity is working against me at that point. Yeah, laying on my back is when my dick is always going to look the biggest because everything's pulling away from my dick. Gravity, it's, everything's yes. pulling away from yeah. my dick. Well, that's the selfie shot. That's the selfie that's shot the for selfie all dicks. One hundred percent, of yeah. course. Yeah. So being on top because of gravity, I but never knew what. I okay, can only I imagine break, the slow mo video of what my body's doing when I'm fucking and even my most favorite positions on top. Yeah, the slow mo of what my body doing just probably looks like. A boxer <laughs> who's just covering his face and letting somebody punch his stomach over and over again. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just he's covering, he's doing no body defense at all and just getting punched over and over in the fucking stomach. It's a ripple effect of just. <laughs> it's weird, dude. I'm, far, I'm, I'm far from the fattest person I know. Yeah. <laughs> and in the fat people I know, I'm probably also one of the more like sturdy yeah. than like squishy center of gravity. But whatever it is still, man, what's on the outside of, of the shit, what's on the outside of the frame, just uh, in my mind, is just going to be the most jiggly, grotesque oh, oh. thing in the fucking world. It's literally, have, you ever it's, seen, it's, have you ever seen yourself on a mirror fucking? So you can like really see it? Like turn no, and see a stand up mirror. On a, on, but have you turned and seen it? Where Maybe. it's like you just like the right angle, you see the, the bed, like the closet mirror is open. You're like, oh, wow, that's what's happening. Um, or I, off the TV I, set. I, I haven't never off TV set, but definitely off of my If my door is closed too much and I do see too much because there's a mm -hmm. mirror in the back of my door. I mean, and Christine are fucking and I look over like for a split second. See, I, I have to almost like on the next Pump. break of like, <laughs> no, on the next break of like turnover or whatever. It's it. I'm going to go kick that door open a little bit more so i'm not seeing that mirror no a mirror over the bed sounds like a nightmare to that me. sounds that sounds awful because then it's straight into your ass crack <laughs> i like I mean, an un what she's seeing over her shoulder is not okay yeah 
you that's protected space you don't expect anyone to see that so you act you keep it in a different manner oh it's such a good it's like i'm yeah, sure your stomach like might be gross when you're but doggy style it's just you're letting it go no one's down there right it's just it's apish it's it's yeah and it really is like yeah i assume it would just not be my i always look at myself and then be like oh wow you're having sex it's just a moment of like what the fuck you're getting late and then it's like yeah and then it's like this seems stupid when you're in your own head of yeah not coming fucking does that happen to you ever or even say it happens if you take like you know sometimes drugs it's just gone uh well molly I, night I, I've never, and you're like why can't oh but, fuck oh yeah all right anytime i've taken a painkiller in my life <laughs> yeah, or like, molly is which forever. isn't like a ton of times on either it takes forever yeah i really it's the conversation i have with myself looking down <laughs> i look i look down at my dick going into the pussy yeah i stare at it and I just try to take myself back <laughs> mentally to being like, dude, remember when you were like 16, man? And you were like, this will be crazy when this happens. And then remember when it finally did happen? And you were like, oh, man, like I'm inside a woman's vagina. It's so crazy. And I'm like, I start getting the thing. I'm like, don't take this for granted, dude. Like, Live this moment. Be it. Be yeah. it. And uh, and and it's sometimes it just doesn't work. It's just pure chemistry. That's the also I said, I think I told us on bonfire, but Christine got mad at me once. It's recently, not, mad, not, not mad at me. Forget it. It's just like mad at me is the wrong word too. Okay. She didn't get mad at me. She just got like that immediate look. It's like you know, girl insecurity. It was like, hi everybody, I'm Ari Shafir, and I'm a stand-up comedian. It's really the only thing I am. I do this podcast that you guys will go see my dates, see my shows on the road, and that's what I'm about to tell you right now. It starts in Las Vegas, Nevada, on September 21st, co-headlining with Big J Okerson. AriShafir.com. You can get tickets at AriShafir.com. Brand new website built by the guy who made the fucking Shroomfest shirts. Enjoy Shroomfest. Uh, then in October, uh, Philadelphia, Helium Comedy Club, my triumphant return, September, October 20th, 21st, 22nd. Uh, don't know who's opening for that yet. Portland, Oregon, with the Dark Queen, Adrian Apolucci. Your ticket just got a lot more valuable. November 3rd, 4th, and 5th. And then I got Dallas the first weekend uh, of Dallas with Reggie Conquest at Hyenas, December 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Um... More shows will be announced later on. You know, who knows? I might do uh, lots of stuff. Who knows? But get tickets for all those shows at AriShafir.com. And uh, let's get back to the episode. Thank you very much for tuning in. Come see me on the road. I think we were just like fucking around a little bit. Like just we were going to start fucking and we were fucking around a little bit. Yeah. And like in like a minute and a half, two minutes, like my dick still wasn't like raging hard. And she had like a, what's the problem? And I go, all right. Well, I'll go, well, now the problem is <laughs> that, that I, now it's never going to happen now. So we might as well just go have dinner and try to fuck after because I go, I, there's no way. I go, when you just said that right now, I'm like, I'm like the answer is so simple. It's like, because I'm 42. <laughs> like, or know, also, like, I'm nervous. That was, I had a one girl. No, no, no I'm not like, talking about what's going on. Christine's like, like my what? girlfriend for nine years and I'm highly attracted to her. We yeah. fuck for right. nine years. I mean, I bet we fuck. In the top one percentile of couples that have been together that long, um, and and yet I'm saying it's like, but you know you have to understand like sometimes if I'm coming into this not like man let's fuck more like oh yeah let's fuck right now, it, it, you know you may have to blow me for um over a minute and a half to have me get super hard like I'm an adult I've just seen things <laughs> do you know what I'm saying yeah. it's like I'll get there I'm jaded dude uh, but it's like I love it no yeah. no it's like I love it I'm getting there it's like that's the worst when you're getting you're getting called in the middle of you going like. <sighs> and it's like what's wrong and you go well everything now just you ask me what's wrong tell me something's wrong you're upset now that i'm not hard and instant and it's like you know it's a bummer so you know who uh, never you know who never said these things the hooker in tijuana <laughs> was understanding the whole time she robbed me at knife point yes <laughs> but we was agreed upon <coughs> <laughs> that is uh <coughs> sorry but yeah wait I, uh, okay let's back this up a little bit <laughs> sure. i want to see how we got into this from Walking by people on the street, staring at them, looking in windows, two pitching. Guess the race, race was just was off. You just simply side. You okay. went. You pointed at a lady. You go. She's so hot. And I was like, man, she's gorgeous. And I was like, what do you think, Pakistani? Maybe. And yeah. you said, let's guess the race. Total total sidebar. We got to make that show. Um, so, looking in people's windows. Oh, yeah. Do you mind if people look in your windows? The double standard women. If my windows are open. I'm taking out a garden apartment. I really am. A garden apartment in a crowded New York City street. I'm taking out that because, like, you could fuck that up just because you're like, oh, my God, the one time I opened the fucking window, I forgot to close it, and I had to do anything in the world. It's yeah, like sure. My living room and bedroom are, like, facing yeah. 
next door yeah, to Dwayne Reed. Day. Nobody fucking, yeah. That's like that. Like I feel uh, like that's a situation that's kind of a little out of your hand for sure. But I do have a feel that if like, if you don't want someone to look inside your fucking uh, window and see and it. see your tits or your dick or whatever out, don't know. I just wouldn't do it. And by yeah. the way, I, I know today, Christine cranks right away for sunlight. I get it. She cranks the shades open immediately in the when the day when she wakes up. She cranks them all completely up. Really? I hate that. But in the bedroom. No, 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 no. I'm up before her every morning. What? Not, not the bedroom. No, really? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, I guess in the bedroom. Really? I'm already up. Yeah. You got up before her? Daily. <laughs> um, but I, uh, which McCall, I, she. Okay, but let's light it. That's actually the, good for you. You no, should no, let her do that. I yeah. do. That's why, that's why I don't stop. But it. not in the bedroom. But so, you're oh, already up. Okay. I'm already up. No, I don't have any problem with it at all. Then it's not my thing. I wouldn't do it. But I go. It, she's right though. It's like yeah. Open yeah. up. Get some sunlight in. There's plants and shit. Like let's be human beings. I get it. I'm not like 21 years old where I'm a vampire. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I, I I get it. Gotcha. So, yeah, she opens it up. And uh, so sometimes, like, when I jump in the shower, and her too, you just, I forgot they're up when I got in the shower. And when I walk out, I'm like, you know, in a towel, obviously. But if I wasn't, let's say I forgot my towel was in the room and I had to run to the bedroom. I am understanding the collateral. Here's what I would be of like. Of what? Running naked? I would understand the collateral damage of being seen by people outside. Now, that right. said... Okay, I go immediately to saying you're a scumbag piece of shit if you take a picture of it. Right. If you try to sure. record it for sure. whatever. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I oh, say, yeah, and by sure. the way, I say hey, that. I get the instinct of wanting to for a picture later. You know what? I take that back even. What? I even take that back to some degree. Because I do believe intention means a lot. Yeah. I do mean this. And this is one that this probably won't be very popular, but I think it's very true. If you were looking right there, Ari, uh -huh. today, and there was on that fire escape over there, there was a girl sunbathing fully nude okay yeah. knowing there's other fire escapes around and, and windows and buildings around and you saw that right yeah and you took a picture of it yeah and your intention genuinely yeah was to show nobody that knows her right just your just couple you. buddies yeah. and you go look this dude this fucking chick right here goes yeah i was able to get like a close-up of her puss and all the and you show your buddy and everything i get that it's like you're gonna argue if it's classy it's not it's not i get it. i will say i would say this here's my judgment on it it's if they caught you doing it, it, they'd be like, oh, fuck. And they'd feel weird. So I would say, like, I get your intentions fine. I would say, don't do it. But if you did sure. it, like, you're not the worst guy in the world. I don't. Yes. I, I don't. If I you think, were just like, I think, yeah, I don't think, do it. Again, my, my, if it makes sense, my mindset, forget even something like that. Don't. My, I, I, wish yeah. I, was, I wish I was the person who pulled out my phone more during a fight. I just never do. I oh. never film, like, a wild thing that much. I get once in a while. Dude, how late I was to the game on that guy naked in the front of the new school. Remember I showed you that video? Your guy escaped from the hospital, clearly, yeah. and he was in front of the new school, butt naked, like rolling around on the floor. New school here? Yes. I called the police, and then I started filming it, but I started filming it even then, 10 minutes too late, before oh, it was right. like, I just don't show how crazy the thing was, because that's not my thought process to do that, really. Right. In my mind, I'm like, it's a person. We, we watched, we have that uh, episode of your show where we saw through that window that girl kept changing her clothes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we say that. Neither Two one times, of us, by the way. Two times. The first time Two full changes. Full no, no. We saw sex. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Two different times. Yeah. We happened upon some sort of sexual behavior. Now. It's crazy. The odds. With that said, but we talked about it and whatever. Yeah. We don't know who they are. We're not saying where they live. We don't no. know anything about them. And through that, like none of us even thought for a second to do it. To record For, it. for the actual yeah. reason, it sounds so hippy dippy for something so grotesque, obviously. But like, yeah. because you're like. Nah, the, these are the dude moments. Like these are the moments you caught that moment together. Yeah. And I mean, women could have dude moments. What I'm talking about, you yeah. know what I mean? Just like it's the just dude for right now. We're just like, oh, dude, like that chick's right there. If me and you saw a girl, they were there. I wouldn't go grab a picture of that for Joe. Yeah. Get a picture of that for whoever. Oh, let me show Christine this. Let me. It's just not my instinct. Yeah. Now I'm saying, if you do take a picture of that, film that, whatever, because you happened upon it. Yeah. We were saying something earlier about this too. I go, you put a fucking camera in a women's locker room, like. You have to fight the There's no doubt in my mind the guy who did it is a raging scumbag. Yeah. And then I'm like, eh, I'm sort of a piece of shit because I went and fucking looked at the video. But like, I am the guy who's still going to say, like, dude, you really shouldn't do this. Yeah. And here's that the reason why, because I can't stop myself. I won't pretend that it. absolves me. I'm just saying, like, uh, there's no way I would be the guy that does, does that. And I wouldn't, like, condone it more than you're like, eh, but it's a bunch of pusses, <laughs> dude. I want to see the yeah. girls at the gym. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's just that you're, 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 just air on the side of not recording things. Just being in the moment. Well, this doesn't exist anymore. Oh. Concerts and shit are so shitty now. But like, 
that thing. But I, again, I don't think if you just if your intention is genuinely to show yeah, your buddies yeah. or whatever, if your intention is to like put it on a public forum and be like, you know, uh, quote unquote revenge yeah. porn or the fuck that shit is, or just like post it to a thing to be like and lie and be like, this is my girlfriend. Who knows? Whatever the zillion reasons, you just put it up there. Yeah. And and now you make it like widespread, seeable by people, and it can come upon by anybody, somebody who knows her, yeah. her parents, yeah. her so and so, her thing. Yeah. Now I go, man, you. I would say if anybody has it on the phone, uh, uh, just get rid of it now. Just delete it now. There's nothing like that I have on my phone ever. Yeah. That I don't like er erase. But I through, like through, 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 through a simple because they hacked into some yes. system. So but I'm okay. saying through a th through a, through a uh, not even a finite amount of time, but like some amount of time. As I go through things, I see them. I go, oh, let me get rid of that. Just because, like that fan might not want, like you know, just just on the off chance that it's like, oh, I would suck at like a fan's of mine's pussy picture that they sent because they were cool during quarantine is now like hacked in whatever things. You're just like, it's not my place to put that out there. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, so I, I would feel like shitty about something like that. So I do tend to erase stuff like that eventually. Anyway, but I'm just saying, like, what do you got to show so much, like to uh, to prove a thing? But you're saying about that where I'm saying but but so at the same time my point is if I was naked yeah okay yeah in front of a window yeah people looked I go can't harm you for that I have no I would do the same exact thing yeah if you took a picture then it just comes simply it's like now is the picture for whatever reason they think it would mean something to be like big Jay Oak or saying fat Sasquatch walking yeah. through his house so why not or is it or, or but, but I'm saying if, it's just, if I'm just a person again yeah. like forget that I'm anybody who would recognize me maybe if Let you post it anywhere yeah I don't care if you take the picture, even if it's to show your friends, like, dude, look at this fat dude walking around this uh, house. You'd be okay with it? I look at bums. You would understand. It would bums me yeah. out, but I'd fully get it. You're in the right. I'd be like, whatever. And if, again, it's not, they're not showing it to my mother and yeah. daughter and stuff like that, that's a different thing. And if you're using it to go, like, look what we found Big J Okerson doing, like, that's funny. It's like, can I compare it to this? Is it like this? Like, imagine you fell asleep holding a $100 bill and you're out, like, side with just like this, but on your back, but holding a $100 bill mm -hmm. and somebody took it. It'd be like, I mean, I wish you wouldn't, but there's no way I can blame you for taking it. It's like it looks like I was it, like I'm surprised you took it because it looks like bait. Right. right. <laughs> That's what I would be almost consumed by. I'd be like, "What? Well, how did you take that? Thinking that was gonna be all right." <laughs> I like those when they get to guys where they have like a very thin or clear looking like wire or something attached to a bicycle. Yeah. And it's like a nice, always have like a nice like Mercedes bike or something like that, like the like pedal bikes. So I mean, yeah. And you should gotta watch. I can watch videos of these stones for hours, and they tie it to a tree basically. Oh yeah, they're gonna steal it. It looks like it's loose. Oh my god, they just get just watch. Not only they and like I love by the way they don't even gnarliest eats too. But what's so great about it is like the instant justice of that moment. Instant justice. You just tried to steal it. It's because you go. It's like they don't even. I don't think at least with most of those they even chase him down to get him arrested. He goes, no, that's what serves you right, Dildo. You fucking moron. You're definitely hurt tomorrow. Like you an ass over head on a bicycle like yeah. you're eating shit like that sucks yeah so like it's really uh you know what i mean that's that's those are fucking great so it's like that's how a hundred dollar bill taking a hundred dollar bill would feel for me yeah but i found a fucking twenty dollar bill on a couple weeks ago on the ground and, and what'd like, you do with it it's kept it yeah you had it it's yours now well, what did i get it like what, have you, you ever seen, bring it to the police station you, does this <laughs> make any sense what it's if like, you drop in the supermarket on an aisle where you're like could be that person's only one of the persons in the aisle do you do the step and wait or do you say something dude Wait, say it again. Do you do this? Okay. You, let's say you're on an aisle. Only one of the persons in the aisle. They're walking away from you um, half a section away. So they're like um, just to the end of that to the end of that building okay. away. So walking away. You, do you say, oh, hey, sir, did you drop this? Or do you just step on it and wait? I tell them. You tell them? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I did uh, the other day. What? Are you crazy? I, I don't know what it was. It You're just giving been, away 20 bucks. I don't know what it was, if it was a wallet or if it was like, so it looked like a sort of a purse-like thing. <sighs> but there was a girl walking down my street the other day and yeah. something just like fucking, she grabbed something and something else fell out of her backpack and it looked like a thing. Yeah. At first, like, actually, the only reason it took me so long to get her was simply because like for a second when it fell, it looked like it was almost like she threw away like a candy. It just looked like trash almost. Like It looked like she was kind of getting rid of it, but she yeah. wasn't. Because then I saw it was like a thing. And I was just like, I had like headphones on. I was, I was like, miss, miss, miss. And she turned around. And I was like, did you drop? And she, whatever it was, she was like, oh my God, thank you so much. And like, she went <laughs> back and got it. So it's like, yeah, no, like. No, I mean, you're a good person. Uh, I, 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 I would look, not be I, that I, in that I, moment. Listen, I, I've. I feel, ah, uh, whatever. I, you're I like, right. I like, to th I like to think I'm pretty uh, moral overall, but I would do plenty of immoral things, I'm sure, as, as mistakes or just like 
bad judgment. You know, we sit in this conversation. I'd probably go look at the closed caption of the gym. What if I called you and said, I mean, Jenny, I definitely watch videos Jenny, you of this. got to get over here. I'm seeing a woman and a guy make, having sex right now. Oh, yeah. No, I'd make it over. Yeah, for sure. You'd be like, all right, all right. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Yeah, me too. No, I'd rush over. Right. But you just wouldn't record it. No, in a million, right, right, I just wouldn't right. even think no to. Way, no way, you're enjoying it. I'm like, it's the whole, dude, listen. It only exists here. Buddy, there's a guy across the street from me yeah. who daily almost stands in front of his window and scrubs his dick as the shower is next to the window. And he does it on purpose. I, I, it has to be because it's fucking crazy to have that. He could pull a curtain, but he doesn't. Yeah. He scrubs his fucking dick in the window. There's not a time I've been there while he's doing that that I don't look at his dick eight times. Because really? it's the same. Now, How it's not, you not? It's not the same thrill, obviously, as seeing a naked woman. I'd rather see a naked woman. That's but there's still that thing where you're like, dude, this is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I'm not supposed to see these things with <laughs> these people. It's the always it's the fantasy of like you go to a strip club and your fucking teacher is like you find out a stripping at that club. You'd be like, shut the fuck. Yeah. It doesn't matter if she's a chubby <laughs> like, teacher. Yeah. You would that would be the biggest hit of the night for you because like, yo, I saw Mrs. Mom. Whatever's pussy. Like, yeah. Whoa, dude! It's like I was never supposed to see dude, her. Pussy. I know it's a joke when they like like a hack joke about like seeing like old dudes like dongs in the in the locker Shower, room. Yeah, yeah. But still, you almost never see it. Like you see it for a second, but <laughs> yeah. you rarely do get a guy just walking around. It happens, but like not even that often. It's still like what the fuck, dude? My you're eye would catch look fifty my, times. My eye would catch. It's not normal. Every fucking dick, every bouncing dick, especially. And also, because I'm upset, I'm so insecure about my own dick that I would just be like, so like. Yeah. I'd be looking at it and go, man, that must look at that fucking dangle on that dude. Look at that, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't fucking. And it's not like. It's so funny when I say, like, you know, like a, a ball busty person, obviously, unless you're a complete moron, has that, like. I never understand the reaction to that. It's like, dude, I don't want to fucking see that, dude. Yeah. I'm like, what are you so like, wound up about, bro? Like, <laughs> it just seems such a weird thing you wound up about. I'm not saying like, hey, dude, you want to run over to so-and-so and look at dicks? Like, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, not, but I'm no. saying like, dude, look at all these dicks right here right now. And you're going like, dude, what the fuck, man? I wanna... I'm like, what is the big deal? Like, <laughs> It's kind of funny. If you don't think it's funny, on the end of the day, it's like, forget taking it funny. Take it for serious. You could be like, Dude, these guys all have like huge swinging dicks. <laughs> you know what do, I mean? like, forget comedy. <laughs> they really do. <laughs> it's so long and like elephant like. If you're whale if you're wearing it out, like uh walking around with it out, I was just trying to say wailing it out for some reason. Yeah. Uh at a fucking would you, in a gym locker yeah. room. No, dude, I would do everything no, in the locker right room there. underneath a towel. Yeah, of course you would. You're more than me. But still you don't walk across the room with it out, get a towel, then walk across the room. Dude, I used to or bring... Or figure it out, dude. Come on. Dude, I, I used to... Uh, Be chill. Like, like, anytime I was in a new relationship or something in my life ever yeah. or something like that or just like a new thing, like I would bring my underwear, my next underwear and tank top <laughs> into the shower room, like you know, the bathroom with me. Oh. Because I'm not coming out of the bathroom, at no least way. not in underwear and uh, and a tank top. Really? Look, listen. If we if, was, if we if we fucked already, if we apartment. fucked already, I'm like yeah. you would know at least this much. But I'm like I don't want to surprise you by putting. So I, I mean, I have a joke about it, so I hate to almost scoot away. Go, but like putting socks on on the edge of a bed. Yeah. <laughs> like it's for hard. like like the, like the, no no no, it's not hard. It's just what that must look like. Gross. My listen. Casual. On pure motioning. Yeah. My dick is gonna retract into my ball bag. Not you know, entirely like a fucking freaking nature but you know what i'm saying though it's like my dick's gonna drop back because i'm sitting yeah with my legs right and then i have a foot cross so i have an ankle on my knee putting on a sock and bending over you know like hunched over to put the sock on like every it's angle of that right. is gonna be f folds and rolls <laughs> and uh, whatever rolls i could possibly have in that moment standing up as a human being i'm not rolls i'm not like a bunch yeah, of rolls leaning backwards I, i'm just I, i'm I'm not. I'm just not a bunch of. But, yeah. But forward, bending over. Forward. Yeah, it's a mess. But maybe your balls hang between your legs as you like cross it. Maybe you could have drip off. Uh, oh, you're on a bed, so the bed's like so your balls are sort of bottom, on the bed. Flat. -based. You know what I mean? Yeah, I couldn't have my balls hang, so I got to handle that in the bathroom part. Yeah, I would go. I would come out with a towel, but, but I would go back to the, 
to the bathroom or away or the other room to change. Have her just dick out. Yeah, Christine probably for some time. She muffs seen it. I've seen her muff like 40 times. What do you mean? She just like, she doesn't care. She just throws, she's like, I'm changing. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a shit. Like, look, look, look at my pussy. Yeah. <laughs> what were we saying? <laughs> um, <laughs> what time is it? Is Joe here? He texted. Oh, Jesus. 14 minutes ago. Oh, that's shitty. Russo. I hope he says he was running late. I hope so, too. I don't know. All right, I won't look. If, just because you're doing my podcast, I won't look. I oh, looked. shit. What? He said, I'm here you close so long ago. What? You're yeah. here? Where? I don't know, but His he must... Place? How's he... We didn't be. see him at all. We didn't see him I'm going calling either on the which way. Phone. Yeah. Hey, are you here? Nah, I left. I was standing up there for 20 fucking minutes. I'm what? so, so, I'm so, so... Were you buzzing the bell? No, I thought we were meeting out front. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, what, I'm so sorry, us? dude. I'm so sorry. Oh shit, that's my that's, that's my bad. It's just a miscommunication. Where are you guys now? Uh, we're, we're we're gonna leave here in a minute. All right, I'll just I'll meet you at the stand. I'm okay. Like a couple avenues over already. Perfect, okay. buddy. I'll see you in a little bit. All right. Bye. 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 Just simple miscommunication. Look at that. Look just at say, that. look how easy it was. Communicating. God. Getting the core shit. Yeah. Iron the stuff out. <laughs> that's what you get. Not more. Firescape Chronicles. What do you think I should call this? Firescape Sessions? Yeah, we'll talk later. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Let's go. I mean, let's let's, let's hash it for a second here. Let's think about it. You get it, though, right? It'd be fun. Just do some of these quick and easy ones. Something like escape route? Just like a nice little play on word? Uh, Oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, right, right. Right. You know what I mean? The escape tapes? Escape tapes. Escape Uh, tapes is actually pretty good. I like that. Escape tapes. I like tapes. Yeah, tapes is good. I did chronicles for crowd work. It's crowd they're, work just, they're just the obviousies there. Was, but like tapes is a good one. We yeah. do lost tapes on Bonfire, but that's uh, that's our Thursday shows. But escape tapes is great. Yeah, it's a good yeah, name. Escape tapes it would be good. Hey, I got an idea for you. And then there's no have to get it out. Yeah. They're just fun little whenever you put them ups. Yeah. By the way, I don't know when this is coming out when you're putting it yeah. up, dude. But you can save a few sandbagging yeah. me. With the, <laughs> on Instagram by saying I didn't put out oh, six God. inch up. It it'll was be, so funny. Like let week. me explain. Let me give you your win because I know you like to get these okay. wins. Thanks. I know you like these wins. And then your <laughs> win is this. This is my day yesterday. <laughs> I woke up and uh, and look with uh, six and jump. In fairness, like I, I don't really know what our schedule. You know what I mean? We kind of yeah. figure it as we go. And like I'm like, yeah, I'm open to kind of whatever we do. Uh, and then pull the curtain of that, and we try to get out one a week. Yeah. And, it's been going uh, on Friday. It's like the, yeah. the mostly scheduled. Yeah. 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 My I'm day trying. yesterday. My day yesterday. Uh, woke up. Whatever. Me and Christine had a... Uh, we uh, interviewed a like couple therapist. Okay. Still a couple therapist. And like it was... Uh, like she was great. We had really enjoyed her like very much. And then she said her price at the end. Like, and uh, it was like... Uh, it yeah. was an, no, it's, that's great. Um, I tell you it's an impossibility. Right. So you're just like, that's great. So we got a lot of think about. Um, and you really told us a lot. It, it was... It was uh-huh. I, someone uh-huh. said that we were a celebrity to her or something because like I, it was really? crazy. Yeah. It was like... There's, <laughs> no, it, there's, there's, it's insane. Uh, and I was like, well, that, su- God, that sucks. I was like, oh, it seemed like it would have been good. But like, I just like, we <laughs> can't be homeless to make it happen. Right. How much was it? You didn't it, say it was. It was. Like, yeah, yeah it, is a, dude, it was like over three grand a month. A month? They do monthly. And race? it was like, and it was like you can what? get, and it was like you can get a deal. At if you want to pay six months up front, we'll give us for eighteen grand. And I was like, miss. I go. I mean, I don't if even I, know if I like. If you. I put, if I put that into rent, wow. if I put that into rent. Of, wow. a, of a, I would have a dream home, and oh. and me and Christine wouldn't even probably oh need the gosh. minimal help we need. <laughs> wow! <laughs> like you know, even the minimal help that we're like, yeah, let's get and see if we can. Can you talk imagine somebody. being rich enough to be like, yeah, yeah sure? To so not where like I can afford it, but where you're like, that seems completely fine. Sure. She said it like we were going to do that. Wow! <laughs> but anyway, uh, so the that bonfire, was fire. It's a radio show. It sure pays <laughs> quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. The guy from Billions is on it. You'd have to be making yeah, more yeah, money. He's gonna be doing something, okay? Yeah. So then. I go, oh, you know, it's nice. I don't have a, a spot at the stand until, like, it's 8.30 show. Sixers are live 6.30 to 9. Last time I made this mistake and went to Skanks, Lewis ruined the game for me. Looks like they're going to get swept, oh, probably, yeah. and oh, they yeah. are. it's probably going to only be four games. Yeah. So Lewis ruined one, and then, yes, then the other one uh, was just a massive blowout. I didn't even waste time watching all of it. I just ended up thumbing through the eggs. They lost by 20-something. Oh. 
And then, and then game three yesterday, they just lost like they just are not good enough to do it. ESPN article saying the most disappointing team in 20 years. I believe it. <sighs> yeah, sure, sure. I mean, they don't have Ben Simmons right now, so it's hard to say yeah. what would have been. But like, crew, it, but this whole like, crew. Just it's like, never been. Happened. It's never just been like they're they're marching forward. It's always yeah. like there's some talk. Oh, that guy's smashing those cars. There's no way he gets in there. Sorry, but like no way, wow. dude. No way. So he's accepting it. <laughs> so where was I? Uh, Sixers. He, he ruined the game. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, uh, so now I watch the game. I go. I don't have to do a stand spot until. Uh, fucking <laughs> until uh, until like nine o'clock or you know nine thirty. I probably go on something like that. So I was like, I could watch the game live, so I don't have to get it ruined later. I watch it live. It's like a slow game of like it, it was semi exciting at one point, but it, they lost. Okay. Long story short, so I'm bummed about that. Three down, three zero in the series. It's not gonna happen. Oh yeah, Kemba, that shot is fucking. <laughs> it just ain't gonna happen. Dude. It ain't gonna happen. And I have to accept that. Yeah, that's fine. And then I go do a, a set at the stand, which. I mean, the girl that I was talking to that I try to talk to the most, I go, Miss, up here, this Chinese lady up front who I was talking to, I'd be like, Miss, hey, my new Chinese friend. And she'd be like, ha, who, me? It was like that energy was the whole yeah. crowd. And it was like, oh, man. So they just didn't play by, along. By the way, can I just say something? Yeah. Ha, who, me is a Japanese name. <laughs> <laughs> well, she was Chinese. Okay. Um. Well, but you know what I'm saying? Which is like yeah. that was the energy of the crowd was like we don't want to play along. Yeah, I, I uh, sort of require annoying. you to it. Nothing else, play along. Yeah, and like they didn't play along. So like it was just like a set that was like so they chuckled at some things and some other things they just like mildly, you know, like it, it just was sucked. Yeah, it wasn't fun at all. Okay. We're getting ready to go do it again, but it wasn't. It's what we got right now. Uh, yeah. It wasn't fun. Yeah, and I came out and then Christine was like. Oh man, what a day! I go, what a day! I go, no, no, what a week! I get yanked off stage by this fucking dude. Uh, it becomes a fucking thing, you know. What I mean, that's a whole fucking thing. Great oh, yeah. stories and all, but it's like you know, it's like still, it's like a whole thing. That was crazy. That you got to fucking deal with, you know. what I mean, yeah. and I got to deal with other shit related to it now, like cops and whatever else, right? Uh, so like, <laughs> I can't believe you got dragged off stage, dude. So then. <laughs> we come to tell the story. We come to tell the story on Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. We come to tell the story on Monday on Skanks. Yeah. And Lewis ruins the game for me. Yeah. Ruins Sixers game. I get, by the way, which I loved and I was so <laughs> proud of her for, but I mean, I get housed in the uh, endorsements game. Oh, yeah. Celebrity endorsement game. I get housed in that. And then when I'm, when I'm standing at the microphone giving my final speech, Lewis tells me the Sixers lost, so it takes away one of those four games for me. The first one. Yeah. Sixers lost. Don't even waste time watching it. Uh, and then I'm sitting there not knowing what to say. I'm all jumbled in my head about what I'm trying to say for the speech now. And then Ari remembers, remembers he tells me that he had silly string at that moment. And then just <laughs> douches just, me I, with silly string. I was a joker. I did it the whole time I had it there. I thought I was going to keep taking it out. And then I was like, oh, fucking never take the fucking silly string out. <laughs> so what I'm feeling at my just absolute lowest, we're just telling the story about yeah. what happened. sucks. <laughs> and, you know, we're making it funny, but, you know, it's a situation. <laughs> you were so there. mad. You were just starting to feel how mad he was. <laughs> he, he was going like, Jay was going like, I oh, know. And Lewis, you. <sighs> oh, man. Dude. You fucking, dude, I wanted to watch that fucking no, but whatever, and 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 more of my speech. Uh, fucking just, Lewis, <laughs> like it was like sinking in. And then the rest of your me. evening was gonna be that you were gonna get out of there, eat, watch. So then you hose me <laughs> on this fucking thing, <laughs> and then uh, what? So serious? so yeah, which is hilarious. Yeah. So that all goes down. Funny, I get it. And then the rest of the so what's that? Monday, <laughs> Tuesday. So bonfires. Uh, Soda's away this week, so we didn't record bonfires Tuesday or anything. Uh, and then we fucking uh, we get to yesterday, where uh, where I said all this fucking shit just kind of like fucking sucks, right? And and, and and then at the end when Christine goes, you had a bad week. I go, no, I had this bad like whole fucking week. And then on top of it, Ari just sandbags me and posts this thing saying that I'm holding up six and jump for something, <laughs> just fabricates an entire thing and infor tells people to call me bitch. So on a hundred percent of my platforms, on the comments, on all the I put out like a Z they put out like a Z Rock clip yesterday and like a little stand up clip here and there and all these things. Underneath it, people are like, yo, Ari said you're a bitch, dude. And they go, Why can't we just get six and jump, you fucking bitch? And they're just drilling me over it. And I'm like, so on top of it all, I'm getting called a bitch all day. Fucking <laughs> 
<laughs> so I said, I like to give you your wins when they just hit like, like long term effect. That was that was that was that was the nail in the I coffin. Didn't forgot about it. That was the nail in the coffin for Christine when I said it. She's like, what? Well, she goes, well, what's wrong? You got this bad thing. I go, no. And on top of all that, for something I have nothing to do with, nothing that was in my control, like everything else. Uh, we're not that in my control, but it's like you know, the Sixers lost. What can I do about that? Like, and then Ari just says, like, that's a reality. Ari just goes, guys, fake thing. Blame Jay. Call him a bitch. And they just fucking did. They just rang out all day long, drilling. So did I talked about it because he said he was going to do that because we had to. He couldn't record this week, so he just said he's going to like start by saying like, like he's really mad at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he just won't I do it. I put it along. I put the thing underneath it where I was like, I got to look into this more before I agree <laughs> so to do a show, you guys. But it is so funny. You put that there, but there was such a reaction. Goes, you fucking Jay, you bitch. Yo, I love you, dog, but you're a bitch for not doing six and jump. The best comment I heard that actually made me laugh at. I mean, a bunch of made me laugh. the video I made? Yeah. But the one that fucking uh, made me laugh the most was yeah. like, yo, another six and jump, guys. Now, like, I'm not watching this bullshit show for nothing. Like. <laughs> <laughs> like getting mad can you imagine like they wa people watch like 10 episodes ahead watch, yeah he goes yeah. I watched this whole show it's the funniest I prank is if we just never do show. another episode he goes how many more did you watch <laughs> how many ahead did you get a lot just interview the people who kept watching as survivors no, I love it. Oh, We're of course so no, funny. but man, with some what I know for, when you, like, answer, when you have, when you have those way, grenades it is. this will be out in a couple few weeks probably but like uh, the copyright thing got we got flagged again so I don't know we just got to tell them to like take off their bots I think yeah they said we could do it, so I think they just yeah, got we gotta figure it out. They forgot or something, so it'll go back up. But <laughs> so weird. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, Jay says he doesn't know if he wants to be part of this. <laughs> that one and the Jacob one are the two like uh, that I didn't even know what happened till way your later. Your mind would have never come back to it. Never. You put it away, and it was gone. But I know it would bring joy to somewhere in the world. Yep. That's my way of giving to the community. <laughs> it's, it's not about paying it off for me. It's about it happening. <laughs> We used to leave. Jacob used to have to go scan the studios when you came in because you would always put like hardcore gay porn on the screen. I forgot about those. So funny. <laughs> to man. find later when the screensaver came off. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> you're like, what? Oh, yeah. Man, what can you really do to get mad at? Also, as you're like a guest, they really can't do anything. So no, like, they can't. It's a complete I mean, they can go like, they can go like, you can't come up to series, but they, they'll never hold to that. And yeah. It'll be a thing. And it's like, okay, sure. Yeah. I mean, Jacob trying to hold the curtains close as I'm sticking my ass up against <laughs> Like, yeah. I won't get in any trouble. <laughs> I know just you guys will get in like trouble. It's like, and you understand, like, you have to be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. You can. I get it. It's we're in a chess match. <laughs> so I would say leave the it's, curtains open, but I get you can't do that. It's, cere it's, cere it's cerebral warfare. <laughs> as juvenile as it seems, it's cerebral warfare. It's a code. All uh, right. Let's go do some comedy for I got people idea. who don't let's want talk it. Talk on the way. Um, all right. First corn. Uh, well, we'll talk about it. Escape tapes. Maybe that. Dude. All right. Goodbye. Big J. Uh, we'll do the, the stuff down below. Pretty good. Very good episode. I did not know there were so many songs that um, have fire escape in them, but it does make sense. It does make sense. The OK Go one was probably the, the best. I mean, it talks about Jay. Jay on a fire escape. You can't get more specific than that. OK Go, by the way, has the greatest videos in the history of videos. I mean, you'd have to put them in the running. You talk about Beyonce and Kanye, Missy Elliott. Uh, all have great videos, but OK Go has been underrated in the video front. Just go down a rabbit hole of OK Go videos. You'll be amazed. Don't start with the car one. If you if it loads up the car one first, wait on that. Start with the old one on the treadmills and then go from there. And don't watch the car one until you're at least four videos in. Also, do this very high. Do this very high. It's a great rabbit hole, and it's something to do with friends. But when you get to the car one, it's going to blow your fucking mind. They all blow your mind, but the car one, I, I just can't even get over it. Don't watch that first, though. I'm telling you, don't watch it first. Anyway, thank you very much, Big Jay Okerson, for coming on in my fire escape, testing out the uh, strength of it, and being funny while we did it. Always fun having you on the podcast. Again, reach out to Big Jay Okerson. Should I find out what his handle is? Yeah, it's something. Um... Big J Okerson on Instagram or Big J Comedy on Instagram. One of those two. Um, and that's it. And guys, subscribe to You Be Trippin'.
the greatest travel podcast in the history of America. Coming, starting Rosh Hashanah, September 26th. You be tripping. It's gonna be it's gonna be fucking good. Subscribe now. It's finally up. Um, and then two comments, two cigars this week. Uh, myself and Joe Liss smoke these Cohiba Esplendidos. Those are going to be difficult for you to get, but get yourself, I don't know, some other Cohiba and smoke along with us. It'll be out on Friday. Uh, that lets you, yeah. That'll let you have time to go ahead and get your own Cohiba and smoke with us on Saturday or Sunday. Enjoy your weekend with us. Two comics, two cigars on YouTube. Subscribe to my own YouTube. Leave a comment. For the algorithm, for youtube.com slash Ari Shafir on all my videos, just leave a comment. Just say bird is fat. That's all you got to do. Uh, uh, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Leave an unrelated comment on this episode. Or tell Jay that, I don't know, something. Tell Jay that he's more he's a more important part of Legion of Skanks than Luis Gomez. That'll piss off two people. That's it, you guys. That's it. Thank you very much for tuning in. Patreon.com slash Uh New episode this week. Has not been uh, enough episodes uh, at all in the last month. So, sorry. For real. Um, and that's it. Let's uh, see you next. Oh, no next week. It's Shroom Fest. It's Shroom Fest. So, no next week. Enjoy the week off. Um, and we'll be back in two weeks with a brand new episode of Ari Shavir's Skeptic Tank. Please subscribe. Bye.